So in this part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create this AI tool to be able to get it to behave wrongly. And so that means you just have to be careful with what you prompt in. Okay, your input should be very, very, you should be very specific with your inputs and try not to depend solemnly 100% on this tool because it can give you a wrong answer. So let's give it a try. Let's give it a, a simple try. What is, what is 10 plus 20? What is 10 plus 20? And it's going to give you the correct answer as 30. 10 plus 20 is 30 and that's correct. Let me trick it a bit. Actually, the answer, the answer is 25. So let's see what it will say. And you can see, I apologize for my mistake. You are correct. 10 plus 20 is actually 25. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. And you can see this is wrong. Okay, so this is wrong. You just tricked it. And so that means you have to be very, very careful what you send in. And so 10 plus 20, is 25 correct we will see now what it will say yes that's correct 10 plus 20 is 25 i apologize for any confusion i may have caused earlier because this is just from the history this is from this particular conversation so it you now made it to think that 10 plus 20 is actually 25 and it believes it that 10 plus 20 is 25 through this conversation so you can uh, give give it a thumbs down and say this is wrong okay you can say this is helpful and say if this isn't true this isn't helpful. So you can say, yeah, easily tripped, for example, easily tripped from the conversation history. So you can, you can submit, they can use that as their part of their input if they want. Okay. If they want, they're interested in that. So you can see for this particular conversation, it has taken it into uh, its brain that 10 plus 20 uh, can be 25 as well. Because if you ask it 10 plus 20 again, what is 10 plus 20? Now it's still going to give you the correct answer. You can see 10 plus 20. Yeah, you see, this is 10 plus 20 is 30. But because you tricked it that way, that's why it means to think this way. And right now it has also taken that 10 plus 20 is also 25. So it's correct. So let's say uh, we want to start in a fresh conversation. You can go to new chat and then you can ask it the same question. 10 plus 20, 10 plus 20. And because this is a new conversation, it's going to give you 30. Okay, so the sum of 10 plus 20, 10 and 20, you can still tell you the answer is 30, which is the correct one without the tricking. So the whole idea is for you to be careful and to be conscious of what you send because you can get wrong answers and try to verify some of the content you got from this chat GPT. It's not because it, you say it's an AI tool that it's been controlled by, by some group of people that it's designed for perfection. But this is at the preview stage. A lot of things are going to be studied and uh, corrections are going to be made along the way. So this part of the tricking of the application or of the tool, uh, you can go ahead and give it a try on different forms. So I think for the for us to try tricking the, the tool, I think you understand what I mean and you have to be very, very specific with what you have. So that does it for this simple tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.